Why is it women, I ain't gonna say all women, 95%, 98% will rather a man lie than to tell the truth? Hey, hey, hey. They loving my swag. They loving my swag. They loving my swag. Yeah, they loving my dad. They loving my dad. They loving my dad. Talk, talking my swag. Hey, I am Robert Pros. PT checking in with y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look, today this is what I'm doing. Tonight I'm doing having real talk with PT Thursdays. I got two topics I'm going to be talking about, but I also want to put y'all on one of my favorite little home-cooked meals that I like to make. It ain't a home-cooked meal, but it's something I like to make. It's something I like to eat, really. Eggs and rice. Who I think never had eggs and rice? Yeah. Well, if you never had eggs and rice, you better try it after the night. Eggs, rice, and some bacon. I can just taste it now. Y'all heard that? I had to part. But anyway, let me tell y'all. I'm gonna whip out some eggs, some rice, some bacon. I may do some cinnamon toast, but that might be too much because I want to get right into it. Then I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna show y'all my special ingredient. Put that sugar on it. I've been talking like this, this dude is nasty. But yeah, let's get right to it. Gotta get my eggs. Gotta get the rice. See, this is the rice from last night. You can use it. Mm -hmm. Gotta get that butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get that bacon. I'm holding the oranges because I be eating oranges all through the night. I don't got to Eggs. I don't know how many left here. Oh. Oh, good job. All right. That's cool. All right. So, got the eggs, got the bacon, got the rice, got the butter. Got the lightsabers. Gotta have them. Give me a little skillet. I will, I will stop knowing I do one of those little. I'm gonna do a Benny Hill, but I ain't about to do all that. Cause I don't know. Somebody put the coal on the thing. I just might just a cold for hookah, but. Dollar was good. Thank you. Gold school. It's one of the players on me. Baby, let me show you. It's going to be alright, y'all. It's going to be alright. So, I'm going to show y'all how to whip up the eggs and rice real quick. I really should do the Bacon first, but I'm gonna do the eggs and rice. Alright? So, come on, camera. Follow me, camera. Just come, come, come. They gotta see how, how I'm about to put these eggs and rice together. You need? Alright, alright. Come on around, come on around. You know, hold on, gotta get the salt, get the pepper. I gotta hear you up, that bit on for a little sick. Gonna grab that butter right there. I'm gonna slap it on now. You need? Matter of fact, let's just move everything to the other side. All right, this how this how I make my eggs and rice. I ain't telling you how you make your eggs and rice. This is how I make my eggs and rice. You did. Let that let that marinate real quick. Let that get on buttery dime, buttery dime, buttery dime. Let me give me a little plate. Yeah. I really, you know what? This really just a plain spoon. I can't be cooking with this. Can't be cooking with this. I eat with this. Look at that. Look at another spoon there. Ah, you see this? Y'all see it? Just come on down. Come on down. So boom. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this rice. Drop it up in there. A little bit more. 
Drop it up in there. Y'all see that? I'm gonna need a little more blood in a minute. You dig? Gonna... Drop it up in there. Give me some more rock. No, wait. It's time to crack one of these boys over. Hit it on, hit it on the stove if you want to. Woo! Voila! Magic. Voila. Magic. One more. Y'all ready? Alright, alright, alright. Let that, let that do that real quick. Gotta get that black pepper. This how I do mine. I ain't telling you how to cook, y'all. But this how I do mine. Put that hand on top. Woo! Don't play with salt now. Get that salt, cause you don't want too much salt. You just want just enough. Have a little bit on your hand, so you know, you know, you gotta always leave a little, a little, a little, a little sprinkles on your hands, you dig? See that? So wine and dine. Give me some more of that rice. Drop that rice up in there. Did I say rice? That's how I talk. I'm ready to get right to this. But wait till y'all see me put that, ooh, that sugar on that boy. Y'all ain't gonna look. So y'all see that? I can turn it off. I can turn it off. And I ain't even put a plug with y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Y'all see that? I ain't even put a lot of y'all. This bacon, going back in the icebox. Did I put a little biscuit go? I put a little some eggs and rice cake. Nah, no like time. Give me a little more black pepper. A little more salt. Put it over here. So it won't be cooking on that hot ass thing. But here we go, y'all. The grand finale. Don't be afraid. Count on me. The sugar will be there. Don't be afraid. Y'all ready? When I fall that dope. Take me out. Ooh. 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 Y'all see when y'all put the, the, the sugar on there, it start looking shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Yep. Can y'all see? Can y'all see how shiny it got now? Let's see. I know what's going on now. Here we go. 
Here we go. Go and get the Go and get the bowl up. No, you can't have none. Make your own. Now, this is what I will do. Anybody that make this, send me a video of you actually making the eggs, the rice, putting sugar in it, and you taste it. Whether you like it or not, I'm gonna shout you out on my Instagram at Robert Primes PT. Make sure you post it and tag me. And guess what? The first 10 people to do it, you'll get a Robert Primes PT shirt. The first five people to do it, gonna get an LO shirt. You gotta give me some bread. I always gotta eat some bread. Gotta have that bread, dog. But anyway, the topics are gonna be would you tell a good friend of yours if their girlfriend or boyfriend is cheating on them? But the main topic is, it's a question and a statement at the same time. Why do women rather man lie than to tell the truth? I'll be back after this commercial. All right. Y'all, how many of y'all knew? Boy, it is rice and sugar. It's good as hell. Yeah, man, so, y'all can see me. I don't play about the egg right now. Man. I'm gonna get to the top. Just give me a minute. Uh, Y'all don't know. All right. So yeah, man. Look, we got my best man. We got red and this girl in the back. Luna. So look, man. So the topic we're gonna do. We're gonna do two topics. One topic is. Will you tell a good friend that their girlfriend or boyfriend is cheating? And the other topic is why do women why do women rather men lie than to tell the truth? So I'm gonna touch the first base, man. I'm gonna give everybody to say what they think first before I tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think. So <coughs> we're gonna start with the ladies. You know, um, you can go first. Would you tell a good friend that their girlfriend or boyfriend is cheating on them. Okay, that's Jump right into it. Yeah. Kind of talk a little loud so they can hear <coughs> you. But you gotta be too loud. But you know. No, it depends though. Like, if you do, if you know in the past you even told your friend that this person was cheating on them and they didn't believe you, then it would prompt you to not tell them. Okay. If you know that they'll believe you, like, yeah, did, she gonna listen and blah, 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 then I'll tell them. But if I know she gonna listen to me, no. No. Okay. She will choose him over me. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Uh, what you say, Leah? What you think? I would. <laughs> Just like a woman. I would. You gonna tell? I'm gonna tell you. you gonna tell? I'm gonna tell you. Okay. That's all you got. Yep. Rich. Personally, I tend to mind my own business. Okay. If anything happened in relationships. Right. If a man get mad at a female, you know, domestic violence, anything. Mm -hmm. So I tend to mind my business. Okay, y'all heard his answer. Y'all heard all three of the answer. So my answer is, it go both ways. I feel how she feel, and I feel how he feel. One, I got a friend that know a friend, and we all know each other. I'm, it's all for this, it's how I feel. If you know what type of person you're dealing with and you still chose to deal with them, and we both know how this person is, I'm not about to tell you the nigga cheat. And ain't about to tell you I cheat. Because you already knew what type of person they was before you got with them. Now, if you walking around here telling me that 
The person you're dealing with is oh so faithful. Oh, does me so good. I love him so much. I love her so much. He's so loyal. She's so loyal. He ain't never did nothing. And you walking around? Baby, that, that nigga cheating on you. <laughs> that girl is cheating on you. That's bullshit. Don't come here selling no dreams to us that we already know that's a lie. I feel like she got a halo effect. Like she can't see no woman you're doing. All. Right. So that's the answers. That's, that's what I got to give to y'all. But, woo, this topic right here, y'all, I can talk about this topic all day. But I ain't even going to do that. I'm going to just give y'all a little something and get up out of here. I'm just doing something different on my channel today. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn those notification bells on. Because I am Robert Primes. But look, so, I hope y'all ready for this. Let me, let me get it. I know y'all trying to see my giraffe. I got the glasses on. Tell me y'all see these. I'm, I'm gonna call these glasses for now. The P Millers, the Master P's. Oh, na 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 na. Hey, but look. So the next question slash statement, and the women gotta answer this. And if y'all hear a hook in the background, just just ignore it. So, <laughs> so. Here we go. Why is it women, I ain't gonna say all women, 95%, 98% will rather a man lie than to tell the truth? Let's go. Whoever wanna answer, go. Cause I, I'm gonna take my glasses off on this one. I'm on y'all ass on this one. Okay. Well, honestly, I feel like I would rather know the truth than lie because I done been in some shit where I've asked them to tell me the truth and they didn't and I found out and it makes the situation worse. So I would rather you tell me so we can have an understanding than you not to tell me and I found out, I find out and then I'm mad. And then I get on your ass and we arguing and we bickering and we fighting. I'd rather you just tell me the truth. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I agree with all. Like, let me know. Let me do what I'm with it. No, yeah. today a lot of me, and then I find out about it. Somebody come in my inbox or on Instagram, out of all places, social media, for me to find this out. And I, I confronted you about this, and you still sat there in my face and lied. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's up, Bridge? Honestly, you always agree with me, but um, I sure. <laughs> you curse on YouTube? As, as I should. Well, you didn't curse. Go ahead. What do you think? Nah, I ain't cursing on YouTube. I, I mean, some people, you know, don't like the truth. Like some people will be like, like knows that know they spouse cheating or anything like that, but they don't want to know the truth. So they'll That's just true. continue with this lie. All right, y'all ready for Robert Props? <laughs> PT? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm going to give it to y'all raw and uncut. Because why? I've been in this situation, I live in this situation, and I am the ladies' man. I have dealt with lots of women in my lifetime. And every woman that I have probably told the truth to, maybe 8% left my ass or we didn't work out. But the ones I lied to, they was happy as fuck living a fairy tale. Why? Because people want to put on this persona for social media. You would rather take a picture with me but not lay next to me at night. It's a little weird. Because why do you care about what everybody else thinks? Why would people rather a lie? Women would rather a lie because. They got this thing in their head that they're brainwashed of what their mom say was supposed to be true, what the Bible say was supposed to be true, what they friend, what they friends say was supposed to be true. In reality, let's be honest, guys, none of us will really know the truth. We don't know, we can only go off what we know. We going off what we only say that this color is black because they told us it was black. But how we don't know this color is green. Why? We would never know because we're brainwashing and starting your mind. Boom! The women that, I'm going to say this and I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to regret it. I don't feel no type of way. The women that lie, the women that accept lies, the women that accept lies, I need you to know something. You're going to always have a new man or you're going to always be miserable. In her. That's, that's the same thing. You're going to always have a new man and be miserable. The women that accept the truth, I ain't going to say all. But at least 98% of the women that take the truth, you're going to be with the same nigga. Why? Because you, you, he told you the truth and you learned him. You learned what he liked. 
You learn you you don't have to you don't, what you don't have to question though. Like the woman that wants to lie, you ain't never gotta question when he telling you the truth. Why? Cause let somebody come up in there, give y'all a perfect example. A woman sitting at a table, my little favorite spot, prospect. I'm gonna give you the woman that like to lie and the woman that take the truth. A woman sitting at the table, a woman walk up to her, hey, your name is such and such. Oh, you date such and such? Let me get a lightsaber, y'all. I just want to save y'all life. So look, so you date such and such? Well, I was with him. I don't know. Then what you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna lie. Nah, 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 nah. You gonna believe your lie, but in your heart, you know the truth. But guess what? Now, a woman that been accepting the truth, who? Guess what she gonna do? She gonna come over there and say, Oh, you talk to Robert Brown's? Oh. Yeah, I was with him the other day. She gonna hit him with that. Oh, I know he told me when he got home. You know what that gonna do? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. No, nah, it's okay, baby. Next time, keep your mouth closed because we good at home. That's one thing about a woman that accepts the truth. She gonna always have one up. I'm gonna say this. A lot of men don't agree. A lot of men don't agree. 99% of men lie and cheat. 1% of men are going to tell you the truth and going to be like me. I'm going to tell you me. I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of women just love. They will, A lot of y'all women love to live a fairy tale life. Women, listen to me. Accept the truth. Men, tell the truth. This is what I think. Women need to be able to accept the truth because I promise you, y'all, for your health, for your for your happiness, you for you to feel more comfortable <laughs> as a woman, I swear to you, the truth will set you free. <laughs> but I will say, talk. Hey, it got some women that really can't accept the truth. Like they'll have the truth will be in their face, and they're like, Nah, that's. Yeah, my happen. parents' relationship. Couldn't baby, accept the truth. Baby, baby. Baby, listen to me. That nigga is cheating. I'm gonna sit here and say this right now. Y'all can judge me all y'all want. Y'all can judge me. I don't. I don't really care. I've been judged my whole life. I got one addiction. Some of y'all like drugs. Some of y'all smoke hookah. Some of y'all like alcohol. Some of y'all do all that. Women, y'all heard the damn song. I got a problem. I do have a problem. But I will say this, y'all. No matter how much I have a problem, if I pick a girl, I pick her. I don't give a damn who, who I play with, I'm a flirt. That shit gonna happen naturally. Women. Women get mad at men for looking at ass. And y'all look at ass. I'm always looking. Shit. And then y'all act like y'all be out with y'all friends. And they said, oh, we look good. Oh, we look nice in that suit. I know I ain't the only good looking nigga in the world. So if I'm dating you and we walk in, I'm not the type of nigga to be walking with my girl and she say, oh, we look nice in that suit. That nigga look nice in that suit. Guess what I'm gonna say? Yeah, that nigga clean. Yeah, that, that, that suit nice. <laughs> a lot of dudes don't know how to do that. A lot of dudes don't know how to accept the woman. But I gotta say this, and this is off topic. I had to tell this to my brother the other day. This nigga said, bro, my girl crazy. My girl, it is. I need y'all to look at me. I look at me in my eyes, y'all. For all the niggas that think that girl is crazy. Nigga, you a liar. She deserves to be crazy. So when you get some fucking ties, slaps, she busts your window. Anything a woman do after you lie, it's really okay. I know y'all niggas probably like this nigga wrong. I'm not wrong. Because if you would have told her the truth, you didn't give her an option. Now her heart is on the line. You told her she was the only one. And she wasn't, motherfucker. So now you finna get your She blowing your phone up. She don't trust you. That's your fault. You tell a woman the truth. You give her the option. Hey baby, listen, I like to, I like I like to be with women. I like to do this, I like to do that. If that woman say no, hey, she said no. That means she move on. But if she said yeah, and she talked to you, but hold on, women. Don't think I'm just gonna be on the men now. Cause a lot of y'all women that say y'all accept that shit, and then when y'all see that shit in y'all face, now your nose turned up. Turn your nose down. 
Cause ain't nobody tell you to accept that shit. And, and then don't come at me six months later trying to be on the same shit I'm on. Cause I ain't accepting the shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just saying. Um we y'all gotta know this. To niggas out there, to all men, women rule the world. What Beyonce said, should we run the world? Whatever the fuck the song go. <laughs> but it's the truth. Women rule the world. Yeah, let me get one of those joints. I like them things. It's the birds. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, women does rule the world to me. I will say that. Like, when, women have more patience than men. Women have more strength than men. Women are more intelligent than men. Women take more pain than men. Listen to me. If you ask me, I, I don't care what nobody say. If God walked up to me as a man or woman or an animal, guess what? I'm going to go to the woman. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. So I heard somebody write under under my comments today and said, um, said a, a man a man is is the head of the household. He's supposed to lead. I don't believe in that. I feel like, I feel like we lead together. Exactly. Why do why, why do one gotta be in front of the other? Why can't we stand next stand on side of each other? And that brings me to the subject of why is it. Why is it not okay for a woman to propose to a fucking man if she's ready to get married? Well, I have to tell you that. Story. Let me bag up. Let me bag up because I seen some on Instagram today, and a lady proposed to a dude, and that nigga said no. But watch this though. If anybody paid attention to that video, the lady in the blue. That means it, it can go two ways. We would never know the true story. But the lady in the blue and that man, probably it might be his new chick. And then the old chick coming in there trying to get him back. And she proposed and he said no. Why everybody's just thinking negative? Oh, he just said no because of this and he said no because of that. That's like, forget person. That's like my ex coming to me right now while I'm at Prospect with my new chick. And try to propose to me? Bitch, you better get up out of here. <laughs> to the left, to that's the right. To the left, to the left. I'm just being honest. So I don't know why that man said no. But I will say this to that woman. I salute you. Because you stepped outside of your culture. You stepped outside of people being brainwashed. But only you know what you really did. Everybody want to be like, oh, he wrong. Only you really know what you did. And you trying to make amends for that. But it's too late. That man probably been looking for support. He probably been wanting you to cook a meal. Wash your ass. I don't know. But don't get on that motherfucker making people, make it, make it look bad out here that women should propose. Because I feel like if a woman want to propose, they say it's supposed to be 50, 50 in the household. So, I mean, if she ready, she can propose. If the man ready, he can propose. But now I will say this, a woman don't have to get on her knees if she propose. She don't have to. She can stand right in your face and say, hey, I'm ready to marry you. And I'll be glad. <laughs> I'll say, what? <laughs> are you, are you, are you, you fucking with me? You can't be fucking with me. So when we get married. <laughs> Let's go now. Cause I y'all only be I know that's that's like a woman that follow her own mind is one of the most attractive things. Women that have social media, I kind of don't fuck with y'all. Cause y'all, I don't give a damn. I'm not about, I'm about to agree with you. I I I don't fuck with social media girls, and when I say social media girls, just because you have a social media, that don't make you a social media girl. When I say a social media girl is, oh, nice she girl. gonna post, 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 post her nigga. Soon they get into it, she gonna post, post, post what the fuck going on at home. That's the problem. Why? Because a woman that posts what's going on at home, you looking for attention outside of home. When you when you get to talking about what's going on at the crib, you know niggas gonna slide in your DM. <laughs> you know that. Why you think niggas post I'm single? Cause I'm one of them. I want a bitch to slide in my shit too. Just fuck around with you. Think you gonna get you some play? I'm trying to get some play too now. And you gonna make me look crazy. 
difference between me and you is, I don't care what people think about me. Cause no matter how many times you fuck up with me, if I love you, I'm bringing my stupid ass right back. I don't care what social media you think. But you on the other hand, women that social media and that care what other people think, they'll go years and be desperate as hell. Just so their friends won't say, bitch, you stupid. <laughs> bitch, you took him back. Nigga, you took her back after she did? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I did tell one of my homeboys, bro, you took her back, you out of line. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. I will say this, they doing good. She did put to his homeboys, but Duh. bro, they doing good. <laughs> they doing good. Now me, I ain't taking that bitch back. She probably got killed in the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all got me fucked up. I don't take cheating lightly. At all. You're not supposed to. Because why? I'm a sensitive ass person. I cry a lot. Hey, right, so look, y'all. I'm going to give the three adults in this room right now with me to ask me a question for, social, for, for my YouTube channel. First of all, stop, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Please share. Boom. I'm going to give all three of them to ask me a serious question. And I have to answer it with the truth. Right here, right now, for my fans. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Question. Question. You would really get violent over a relationship? The old me, I will say this. And I'm actually, I'm actually honestly, because I said I would give y'all the truth. The old me, yes, but the new me, I'll just leave because I feel like my having access to me, I'll, you'll lose. Helen. If I, if I take away you having access to me, I'm not saying I'm the best person. I'm not saying I'm better than nobody. But I know it's only one round of problems. So, a woman that do me wrong, I can give you two, I can give you two main purpose reasons. One, you're going to have a guy, you're going to meet the next guy. Whatever guy you meet after me, he ain't going to have my same personality. He's either going to be two ways. He's going to be too soft or he's going to be too hard. I'm in the middle. I can be both. I'll play with my girl, I'll play with my girl clothes, play with her wig, whatever. <laughs> and, but guess what? And I'll protect the shot of by the time we go outside. It's a difference. I ain't gonna wake up in the morning mad as fuck for what? Nah, so that's my answer. No, I will not get violent. The old me, right. slap a bitch this. <laughs> but that ain't that ain't me. Well, I, 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 got I, too much pride I, I grew to understand that I'm the prize. And, and I feel like everybody should know that they're the prize. Like, if you're dealing with a girl, she needs to know she's the prize. If you're dealing with a man, he needs to know that he's the prize. Both people in the relationship need to know that they, they value something together. And without this, like, my, like the person I talk to, they done calm to my storm. So they help me think before I make crazy ass decisions. If I think, if I think about doing something crazy, I'd be like, damn, what was she saying? All right, PT, calm your ass down. So, that's all I think. So y'all y'all gotta balance each other out or it, it ain't gonna work anyway. I, my question is, do you think do you think in the near future you would ever get engaged again or propose again? I don't believe in marriage. I never believed in marriage. And when I did the engagement, I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. I didn't do it for the right reasons. But what I will say, when I the next girl I get in a relationship with will be my last relationship. I feel that way. Is that a good enough answer for you? Nah, you need to go into details, my nigga. Nah. <laughs> I, need, I need a little bit more details. I, I don't get it. The Be marriage. specific then. Okay. Because I'm not, you said when I get engaged to marry. No. <laughs> if your girl pulled a you on you, how would you feel? I would say my girl can't pull a, my girl would never be able to pull a me on me because I don't accept it. So if she pulling me on me, then I'll just leave her because I never accepted it. I never accepted me in a relationship. I accepted you in a relationship, not myself. If a girl was me, I wouldn't be with her. That's a good ass. That's something. Mm -hmm. I, I am Rob Prince. PT. I was checking in. Yo, check it out. Hey. PT. Hey. They loving my swag. They loving my swag. They loving my swag. Yeah, they loving my dad. They loving my dad. They loving my dad. Talking, talking.